welcome 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 to this vlog is this a new vlog or i've started have i started vlogging you know what let's just let's just move on so i wanted to just do a quick unboxing that's why i set you guys up today we have a package from asos and this package came hmm, i ordered this package on the what did i order this package wait hold on around 18th around 18th of september let me just be sure oh yeah i'm correct i ordered this package on the 18th of september and it got to ph um it got to ph on the 27th that's nine days later but of course it did not deliver i just saw that it has been here for two days the skynet website was not updating again so i just told my sister to help me and go and pick it up because it's not nigeria they will not deliver even though they're supposed to deliver they will keep it there wait for you to come to them but sha sha so give or take 10 days my items got to me so if you're probably in lagos it probably take like five six days because i think it got to lagos real quick i have another package i'm expecting from pretty little thing that one is taking a bit longer and i know that one might stress me because i think it's going to be nigerian post office kiniko kiniko i'm not looking forward to it but asos they always deliver i bought everything i bought was about not about everything i bought was 150 pounds which is roughly close to 200 dollars and i paid 18,900 naira customs like the next day, literally, they sent me a link to pay for your customs, blah, blah, blah. So, 18.9. And for me, that's fair. Like, I don't have any complaint. Of course, I was expecting it. I didn't want to go through the stress of sending to this company and this company was sent to me. But let's unbox. By the way, I don't think I ordered any clothes, too. I don't think I ordered any clothes. I think it's mostly shoes. I ordered this right as I came back. I think the next day after I got back from London. Because I wasn't able to buy shoes the way I thought I would in London. Because I have big feet. And they don't have my size in the market. Literally. So I went on ASOS. And I just ordered a few footwear. So I think it's mostly footwear. Or all footwear. I can't remember what I ordered to be honest. But it made sense when I ordered it. When I opened this package time. I don't make sense. Hey. So help me God. Did I order this thing? <laughs> I cannot remember. But it looks so cute. Oh my gosh. It, oh. How will I order this kind of heel? Why will I even do this to myself? Oh, weird. I feel like I ordered this shoe because I felt like at the moment I'll take cute pictures with it. They remove it and wear my slippers back. Because why? But it's so cute. Let me show you guys. Um, it's really cute. I hope you guys can see. Shall I? I'll try and zoom it because I cannot be moving this camera around. But it's really cute. I'll do an up close for you. Let me try and wear it. Who will walk on this thing? <laughs> See, you're laughing. I don't, I don't even know what I was thinking when I bought this rubbish. Why will I do this to myself? This has to be for picture only. Like, it really has to be for pictures only. So, this is what it looks like. Can you guys see? It's cute, but definitely uncomfortable. Like, nah. Nah, <laughs> pictures only for sure. Yeah, do you guys see what I mean? I have wide feet, so it has for my size, but this is my perfect size. But pictures only, it's not comfortable. This is the second one. I can't remember what I ordered. Oh, I remember ordering this shoe. So let me tell you, I remember ordering this. I think it's Tochuku on vacation. To had a sandals that look like this or shoe. I don't know what this is called. Is this shoe or sandals? Is this ugly looking thing? You guys know how mom jean is trending and sometimes people pair with like ugly ass shoes and it's kind of trending. I just didn't buy this ugly shoe. Like I actually find this so ugly. Like it's not attractive at all. But yeah, let's see. This is this shoe. It's ugly. You get what I mean? It's ugly. But if I style it well, you know, um, yeah, it's it's trendy if I style it well. That's all I can say. Like it's trendy if you style it well. You know, but well, it's quite ugly to be honest. I remember, like, okay, I wanted to buy from Sketchers when I traveled. Then I entered inside Sketchers, and the shoe I wanted to buy, this, uh, what's this one called again? Sneakers, right? The sneakers I wanted to buy, 100 and something pounds. I'm like, it's not in my closet. I don't know where it's for one year, two years, it will still be there. Because I'm really not a sneakers girl, it's just something I'm trying to start wearing. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go to ASOS and look for a cheaper sneaker. This one is probably 20-something pounds. And yeah, so I bought sneakers from um, ASOS. Looks like this. Basic, standard, pure white, no design. It doesn't look like Nike. It doesn't look like anything. There's no logo. There's like just plain, barest minimum, which is what I wanted. So I bought sneakers. This one, I bought it in a size 10 because when you're 
buying sneakers like it's normally good to size up yeah it goes with like what i'm wearing funny enough you guys cannot see but i might even wear it tomorrow i might wear it tomorrow but not with this outfit with jeans but yeah good old sneakers i'm happy i bought that one and it fits so perfectly it's very comfortable when i was buying these slippers i knew i would hate it like you know when you're buying something you just know you will hate it because the leather was so bulky but i just needed a wakaba slippers like school run slippers you know i just i just got it do you see what i mean the leather is so bulky but it's so casual yeah that's what this one looks like it's just very casual i just bought it for like school run and just you know when i wear my boo boo and i'm going somewhere nothing much nothing special I like it. It's extremely comfortable. And this is actually so soft. It's almost like it's, it's foam. No, like it's, it's really soft and very comfortable. I'm glad I bought it. And last but not the least is another sneakers. Um, this time around, the same concept, plain, basic, but this is in brown-ish or whatever, nude, blush pink, whatever this color is. And this is also in size 10, I believe. Yeah, it's also in size 10. This is this one. Can you guys see it? I hope you guys can see sure. It's just basic. It's also nice. This might actually go with what I'm wearing, what I plan to wear tomorrow as well. We shall see. But that's it. I think that's it for my haul. I bought um, this Revolution concealer in two different shades because I was I bought one that is a bit lighter, one that is kind of darker. And then I bought my lactic acid. I decided to just uh, stock up on my lactic acid. That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The next day, guys, I don't know who sent me to come for this trade fair. <laughs> I'm having anxi like anxiety attack. I usually don't come for things like this only because it's very public. As much as you guys think I'm out there, I'm really not that much out there. But I'm here. My friend Ajala is here, so I'm going to meet her up. And luckily, I found a parking that is no far. It's not like so far off from the entrance. This is the Niger Brand Chic Trade Fair, and I'm here. Hopefully, I'll show you guys around and. We'll see how it goes. I'm low key having a panic attack. Jesus, like, <laughs> I don't like very public events. I actually love private events, like hanging out, somebody's house, you know, small events. I try to avoid big events as much as possible, but it's something I've told myself I need to kind of get over, like, you know, just you just have to mingle, you know. So yeah, I'm here. Let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Oh, by the way, I love my new key holder. It's so cool. I bought it from Smiggles, and it says choose kindness is it not cute and i put it for all my kids in their school bag and my name is at the back nello i put it for all of them in their school bag and they love it i don't know why i just thought to show you guys because i was dangling my kid anyways let's go i'm like my bag is so empty there's nothing inside <laughs> i just put my card i'm hoping not to even buy a lot i'm just here to get over my fear of public events like that's why i'm here to be honest not to shop but you know how it is you'll see something you like i'm waiting for you Several days later. Good morning, guys. Nello here, of course. Um, I don't even know how this vlog is going, but tell me why I woke up this morning and started feeling like laying my wig, like the time they lay with glue and all that. I don't know. I've been seeing too many videos on Instagram. So look at the baby, okay? This is my baby for today. I've kind of prepped it. You guys can see. I hope I'm turning this thing well. I've kind of prepped it. Like it's an old wig, so I didn't cut or pluck or anything because um 
fun fact, I usually just wear it as um, a closure, not a frontal. Even though it's a frontal, like I just comb it and wear it like a closure. But today, I'm in the mood to wear it as a frontal. And you guys already know kinky straight. Say anything kinky. You got me with anything kinky. Why, why am I slanted like this? <laughs> um, kinky straight wig. That's what I'm about to fix right now. And I have like one or two contents to create for YouTube. So I'm happy to be productive because I've been so lazy. When I tell you all I've been so lazy, I've been so lazy. But <laughs> this is not how we're going to, to make money. See, 30 December is coming. So girl has to be serious. And I have a few videos for brands to film. But I'll push those to another day. That was kind of my motivation to look good. But yeah, I'm not in the mood for that anymore because it takes a lot more work. <laughs> Let me know about you guys. I'll just set you guys up and you guys will just watch me get ready, basically. This is about 30 minutes later and I have given up on filming. Like, fuck this shit. <laughs> you guys, I tried to put on the wig the first time. You know, white, gluey, mac, blah, blah, blah. I cleaned it off, which was a hassle with oil and soap and everything. And then I came back the second time and then just tried to use my spray that I always use that works perfectly. And then all of a sudden, it's not gluing. Like, it's just not working. I'm just like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm done. Yeah, that's it. I'm not filming again today. Like, I've lost my filming spirit. And whatever I do now is going to show through. Like, I won't be excited. I won't be like I won't be in the mood in the spirit, so I'm telling not to film. I'm just going to go and create Instagram content, the kind of content that don't need my face. So that's just what I'm going to go and do now. Like I'm actually quite pissed because I woke up in the mood today, and yes, I'm letting the devil take away my mood or whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever. Tomorrow we'll try again. Like I'm done. <laughs> This thing happens more often than you guys think, and whenever I'm not in the mood, I literally can't film because like it shows you guys it shows my spirit is low i'm not like my usual self and any little thing will not irritate me because i'm already irritated yeah so ig content it is um we've got to the tripod man that's updates so make an update to people because i told you people that i was going to <laughs> i was going to be useful to myself today but not any longer I'm just going to go and take a few shots now. It's a bit changing. Maybe we need to do it. To be honest, I deserve it. Let me be fat. I'm okay. I'd rather be fat than happy. <laughs> hey, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Hey guys, it's time for another unboxing. Hey, another day, another effort. We're about to try again today. The last time we tried to film, it just it didn't work out. <laughs> I was so mad that day. <laughs> I just I just left everything. But yeah, I'm about to try again today. And today I actually have to film for two brands. I have four pending videos, but I'm filming two today because I have to do hair and makeup, which is one, and then the other one is um, trying on some clothes which I'm excited about because it's not really the kind of clothes I wear normally. I'll show you guys later. Um, yeah, it's a brand I actually love. I've been shopping from for years. So you guys already know I'm excited about that. And then the other two videos I'll save for another day. This outfit, I bought it for one IG vendor. It's quite cute to be honest, but it's a bit big. I bought it in size 16. So <laughs> your girl is fat. We already know that right now. But sometimes depending on the brands, when I buy 16, is it's big and sometimes when I buy 16 it's just my perfect size but like outside Nigeria when you know this L12 14 16 um I mostly wear a 14 
sometimes a 16, depending on the fit of the outfit. So my goal is to get down to my full-time 14 because I love being a size 14. I don't think I can be a size 10 or even 12 right now. My bones are big, so when I'm size 12, trust me, I am skinny. I was size 12 when I got married. So I know that, mm, that probably not happen. But size 14, not 14 slash 16, is my ultimate size goal. So help me God. It will happen one day in Jesus' name. Because I said in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm? Yes. Oh, I hope so. I can manage it. I don't like that. It's still loose, but manageable. Done. Okay. Hi, guys. So, I want to quickly tell you guys about my experience at the, um, at the trade fair. To be honest, as much as I'm a YouTuber, I'm on YouTube, I really don't like public events. I don't like, like, <laughs> I don't like somewhere I get to meet loads of people that watch me. I think that's just, I think that's basically what my problem is. Let me not even lie. I don't like, um, I don't know, sometimes it's just very overwhelming. Even though I love it, you know, you love it, but it's like, it's, so, it's a bit scary, like, oh my God, I already know that I'll be recognized in this location. So I try to avoid events like that. But I'm like, you have to get over it. It is what it is. Even like when I traveled um, in London, when I mean everywhere I went, I was getting recognized and people were saying hi, you're so sweet. Like, it was really, really sweet. Lagos, Abuja, of course, Portacourt, like everywhere. So I just, it's just something I know I have to get over. Like, yeah, I just, I just know, right? So I decided to go for this event. So when I got invited, when my friend Adjola invited me, I was like, okay, this is a good opportunity to just, you know, go and <laughs> hang out. This is the first time I'm doing something like this ever, especially in PH. Like I've never been to any fair whatsoever. Like I've not done anything ever. So this was my first time like going for a very, very public event. And I must say that I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. I'm like, hmm, why haven't I been going all these years? It was so nice. I met so many amazing people. And I genuinely love meeting people. I think the scary part is actually the setting. Like, it's just, I don't know. You don't know what to expect. And I kind of like knowing what to expect. You know, when you're going to smaller events, you know what to expect. You know, the people you expect to see. I think that's also my problem is. Yeah, um, I enjoyed it. It was really nice. I want to show you guys. I shopped from this brand, Vivlin, Vivlin Atelier. So this is the bag. I hope I pronounced that name right. Vivlin Atelier, yeah. Anyways, I shopped from this brand and I quite love the outfit. So I wanted to show you guys quickly. There's this short set, so it's short. You guys can see. So, you know what? Let me just, uh, do I have strength? I'll show you guys another vlog because I actually want to dry clean it. Maybe when I wear it in another vlog. But I'll show you guys, but I'll show you guys another vlog. So this shirt, this set comes with a short, right? And then it is a short and a shirt and a white shirt. But it also it also has a trouser. So you get like a three-in-one combo. But the trouser is so big for me, like I was swimming inside. I was literally swimming inside. So I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and mend it because I actually need to be big for me. But I really wanted it. This is size 18. But I really wanted it, so I bought it. And then I also bought this very cute set. The way I buy shorts, eh? you think I to wear shorts like that. But I also bought this very cute shirt set. So it's a short, and then it's matched with this top. This I don't know what this material is, but it's a really, really nice top. So it's a set, and I like the detail here. You know, the hand has a drawstring. It's just really, really cute. I also, um, oh, let me go tell you guys, the chin chin, is it Jenny's Bite? It was amazing. Jenny, if you're watching this video, I need more chin chin. Um, I'm going to find you. Like, I'm literally going to find you. I need more chin chin. Like, I love... This thing will make me add <laughs> more weight that I'm already... I'm already crying. I'm fat. This is going to make me add because I was biting on this thing. Every single night when I'm here watching rubbish shows on Netflix, like, I've been watching Too Hot to Handle. Anyways, when I'm here watching Too Hot, Too Hot to Handle, I'm just munching on the chin chin. Ah, it was so good. Like, so so good the chinchin especially i also bought the peanuts but it's kaito that's been eating the peanuts because he really likes peanuts so i wanted to also tell you guys that it was really nice because you know i met her she was so lovely and i'm telling you guys now go buy her chinchin please okay and i also shopped from um what does that buy in the fair i think i also bought jewelries i bought jewelries from uh one brand that i normally buy jewelries from i'm going to put their name on instagram right now i bought a few jewelries from them and she was kind enough to gift me one as well and it was so nice so thoughtful thank you oh yeah i also bought ankara from veronica's daughter she sells ankara so i also bought ankara from her which i'm going to make and yeah i think that's it that's all i bought i didn't actually go to shop i went with the intentions of just 
mingling, meeting people, like just, you know, going with the vibe and just putting myself out there. And I'm so happy that I went. It was so lovely. I can't wait for the next one. Like the next one, I'm actually going to be there. In fact, I can't, like, I can't wait. Like any other event happening, I feel like this has kind of opened me up to attending more events. And I'm so happy about that. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I just wanted to come and summarize how everything went for you all before I end this vlog today. I hope you guys are good. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, <laughs> and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next one.